Irish, some of the most cheerful, friendly, and deathly pale creatures on planet Earth. This tribe of sociable sots live on a cold and windy island a wine bottle's throw from a colder, windier island called Britain. Not to be confused with their uncouth cousins from Northern Ireland, real islanders are a welcoming breed. Famous for both inventing the potato and talking in tones that are lovely to listen to, but impossible to understand. When an Irish baby is born, they automatically inherit two of the most supportive and rewarding godfathers, Whiskey and Guinness. These ever-present protectors will be there to love, guide and nurture the child through youth and into adulthood. A journey that will see their coat of hair turn red and ensure, if lucky, that they have untold crack. This group of feisty young males are attempting an impressive ritual, becoming one with the beer. Such stunts often result in failure, but experience is a skill that can't be bought. A 1922 study undertaken by the AOBIGFY, or Association of Beer is Good For You, found that Irish males and females benefit from having livers that are 90% iron, the metal, not the molecule. This coupled with the unparalleled ability to turn even the most harrowing of tragedies into an excuse for a party means that in the League of Extraordinary Drinkers, the Irish truly command a seat at the top of the table. Unlike in some other cultures, challenges between males and females are commonplace. This female has been put on the spot, but isn't going to back down. Despite her small size, she shows the bigger male how it's done. Success! The female lives to fight another day. For the male, his night is over. It's certified beyond scientific fact that all Irish people spend 364 days of every year training mind and body for the biggest event of the calendar. St. Patrick's Day. The 17th of March sees the Irish descend from whiskey mountains and climb from Guinness caves to celebrate. History tells us St. Patrick tricked the snakes out of Ireland by promising them a free bar elsewhere. Little did they know that he'd kept a large percentage of the world's alcohol in reserve. It's illegal to be caught not celebrating on this joyous occasion. Missing out can mean banishment from the pack, a punishment worse than death in the eyes of many. This Irish male has slept through St. Patrick's Day. When he wakes tomorrow, racked with guilt, he'll immediately begin preparations to redeem himself. When the sun rises on the 18th of March, many Irish will return to their homes in a green mist, not to be seen for another year. Like other creatures, Irish have sworn enemies. Unlike most, however, these enemies are themselves, sort of. The fake Irishman is the bane of any true-blooded Irishman, often identified by phrases such as, my nan was Irish, I'm 119th Irish, and I can do an Irish accent, isn't it grand? The Irish hold a well-earned reputation, carefully sculpted and maintained over many years. Insane parties, admirable social qualities, and a willingness to dive into the golden unknown makes them one of the most loved creatures on planet Earth. Next time on Beer Planet, we'll probably take a look at some of the wildest creatures around, Australians. <laughs> Yeah, Ed! Yeah, Ed! <laughs> <laughs>